Hello everybody, we are back with Fallout 2 and we're in Vault City and we have some stuff to do here. Um, the first thing would be to deliver that uh, economy disc, whatever, um, from the greedy uh, ghoul to McAllure and see what he has to say about that. And then the next thing is... Um, we have to try and get some, like, a super repair tool for Skeeter. I think we might uh, get this at the supply office in, in Vault City. Uh, now that we are citizens, you have to see about that. <clears throat> and we still have to uh, deliver some booze and beer to the bar in Vault City. And we have to uh, check out the vault for our own little quest, main quest. Okay, McClure. Good day, citizen. Can I help you? Uh, can I ask you some questions? Of course, citizen. What is it you would like to know? Um, I have an econo econ I have an economic data disk here you might find interesting. I'm sorry, an economic data disk? What do you mean? It's an econ... Why am I having trouble saying this? It's, it's a data disk that shows the amount of energy that Gecko's atomic power plant produced before the war and could produce again. I see, so what does that have to do with me? Well, as I understand it, Vault City's power generator can only support so many people. In fact, it's already nearing its limit. Uh, I'm not going to ask you how you came by that information, but if it were true, what are you proposing? The disk shows that Gecko's Power plant, if it were optimized, could produce a great deal of energy far more than Gecko needs. Vault City could use that energy. Energy. Are you suggesting we seize Gecko and take their power plant? I will not listen. No, no, no. No. If Gecko could receive the optimization data for their plant, I'm betting they would be willing to trade the excess power for medical assistance. Mm, as far as medical assistance goes, I'm not unsympathetic to the plight of the ghouls. They have certainly suffered enough, but how could we optimize their plant? Uh, I don't know, maybe there's someone I can talk to at the plant. I have no objections to your proposal. If you can find some means of optimizing the plants, uh, plant, let me know. All right, so he's open for, for it. That sounds good. Um, all right, all right. Uh, where was that supply office? Oh, okay, let's see. I think it was on the next the next uh, part of town. I think it was. Mm-hmm. Have some coffee. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, it was not the servant allocation office maintenance center. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. I don't know. Do we have any more... Um, like rights now to order stuff. Yes. Did you want something, or are you just going to stand there gawking like a moron? Watch it. I'm not in the mood for any bullshit today. Oh, easy. I was just stopping to see what this place is. Uh, it's the maintenance shed for Wall City, or did you just happen to miss a huge sign inside of the building? No, sorry. I thought this might be a shop of some sort. Well, you've got the of some sort, right? Anyway, I looked at you. Need something repaired? I just want to ask you for the most question. Okay. Uh, what do you repair here? Uh, synthetic alcohol dispensers, blah, blah. I think we've read this before. Um, we're going to ask about tools. Um, right now I've got the metal lathe. I'm barely working and my wrench has gone missing. Oh, yeah, we have a quest for this guy. Uh, he wanted a wrench and pliers, and we have pliers. Um, but you only need a wrench. Um... Maybe I could find some. Yeah, we already have this quest. Um, so maybe that's not the right thing. Where else would we would we go? There was this one guy taking orders. Was it in here? Let's ask him. Oh yeah, that was him. That was him. Valerie of the maintenance shed could use a new wrench and some pliers. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I'm still waiting for the requisition list to clear the server. It's going to take a while. Yeah, we listened to this too. But we can ask about a super repair tool. Okay. 
Okay, I think we should just um, check by the tap house and see if we can give him some alcohol because I think this was the place, right? Um, what's on tap? Can we just give it to her? Is that how it works? Oh yeah, Tozy. I think Tozy said I should read the books. Um, I'm gonna do that. Oh yeah, I gave it to her for free again. Damn it. Okay. Um, let's get information. What do you have on tap? Okay, I don't want anything. Okay, I'm gonna read the books. Uh, that was Dean's electronics. You learn a lot about repairing broken electronics. Cool, cool. Uh, what were those? Those were lock picks. Okay. Um, what else did we get? Cat's paw magazine. What does that do? Oh, I don't know. You learn nothing. Okay. You learn. No, that's nice. That's cool. First aid. Push first aid a little bit. What was that? That's our day pass. My nose is itching again. What the hell is wrong with me? Okay. Uh, first aid. Oh, it's up to 35 now. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, let's go into the vault. Where was that? It's up here. And I still haven't leveled up yet. So, I'm gonna look at the perks. Um, at the end of the video, and then we can decide on what we should pick next. Because I, as Tozi said, I rushed it a little bit when I leveled up first. Hello, citizen, may I help you? I would like to enter the vault. Of course, please, please, please pass through. Nice. Oh, awesome. This place looks cool. So what do we want to do here? We wanted to use, um, I think, the computer for information, right? But that's not how, how it's going to work. I think we have to talk to some of these people, maybe to those computers. Hello. Oh, hello there. I haven't seen you around before. Are you a new citizen? Yeah, I just recently got my citizenship. Welcome to Vault City, fellow citizen. We don't see many new faces around here. I'm Phyllis. What's your name? Uh, my name is Barani. Uh, what do you do around here? I'm the resident medical assistant. I work for Dr. Troy. Great, I could use some medical assistance. Oh my, you are hurt, aren't you? I'm sorry, I should have been paying more attention. Go see Dr. Troy to take care of you. Okay, let's ask some more questions. Can you tell me where the central computer is? It's down on the third level, if I remember correctly. You haven't been down there in ages. Why not? Oh, I don't know. Not much reason to go down into the vault. It's mostly used for storage space nowadays. Uh, the only one down there is Martin. And well, just between you and me, he's not a great conversationalist. Okay. Um, tell me about Vault City. Vault City? Well, actually, there's not much to say. I mean, I've been a citizen all my life, but there is much, not much to do in Vault City at all. It seems a shame that it's such a beautiful, that a beautiful young woman such as yourself can't find something to do in Vault City. Pardon me? Ah, I couldn't help but notice you're an attractive young woman who could stand to get out once in a while. How about you and I have dinner? Oh, I, you know, I'd love to, but can't. Oh, come on. I'm new. I'll get into trouble if I go around. This sounds like a, um, like a Star Trek conversation. Like between Riker and some alien whore. Sorry, but no. All right, all right. She doesn't want to. Um, what do you do here? We ask, okay. Let's talk to the doctor. See if he has anything, like, cool to offer. Hello, I'm Dr. Troy. How may I be of assistance? I'm looking for the main computer attempt. Can you tell me where it is? Uh, what is, what is it you do here? I'm Vault City's primary physician. I take care of all the citizens within the, uh, within Vault City and do my best to keep everyone healthy. Yeah, I'm looking for the main computer. Uh, the main computer, uh, it's, go, it's down on the third level. Just take the elevator down, walk straight until you hit the T intersection, then make the first left. That will take you right to the control room. OK. 
Can we do anything? Like, does he do anything? Oh, 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 I'm missing conversation here. What did he ask? Hey, hold on a mo moment. I don't recall seeing you around before. Are you a citizen? No, I'm not. Okay. Sorry, I misclicked that. You must have gotten turned around in the city streets. Head back to the corridor you entered from. Then make your right and take you back to the surface. All right, no. Thanks for the direction. Sometimes I get so turned around, you know. You Hold on a moment. You're an outsider, correct? Where are you from? Uh, from, from a small village to the west, Arroyo. Arroyo? I don't believe I've heard of it. I'm sorry to pry. I was just looking for someone who had traveled beyond the walls of Alt City. Most citizens here have never left the city. Why are you looking for someone? I've been looking for someone who might be able to perform a special errand for me. Well, what do you want? It has come to my attention that there is a new drug in the waste. It's called Jet, I believe. I'm willing to pay a thousand dollars for a sample of this drug. What the hell? We have Jet. So you want me to smuggle some? Yes, I'm willing to pay you a thousand dollars for the sample and your silence. What do you want Jet for? That's not your concern. Obtain a sample of Jet, bring it to me, and I will pay you a thousand dollars. And that price includes your silence. Okay, what's it? Okay, no problem. Count me in. Excellent. Return here when you have obtained the Jet, um, and I'll have your payment ready. Okay, I think we have Jet. At least some of us, uh, some of our followers, does. Um, let's see. Salik, there you are. There you are. Let's see if you have jet. I hope we haven't sold it. That's buff out. Oh, we have six samples of jet. Can get high all day, doctor. Thank you. That's it for now. Um, I got that jet you wanted. Excellent. Thank you, my friend. You have no idea how important this is to my work. Here's your payment as promised. Great. Thank you. I'm in need of your medical expertise. Of course, citizen. What seems to be the problem? Uh, I've been irradiated. Or I'll just let me check your vital signs. Lean back and we'll hook you up to the auto dock here. <laughs> that should fix you up nicely. How do you feel? Much better. Okay. Uh, I think we've talked about everything with him. Can we do anything with this? You could glean more information from this terminal with a more scientific approach. Of course, our science is very low. And we should just try this a few times. As always, maybe it will work. Come on. Give me more information. I wonder, because um, when you look at um, the description of your the followers you can get it says like okay he's very good at repairing stuff or he's very good at uh, first aid I don't I want to know how to use that I mean can I just tell him just go repair that or go repair that I, I wonder how that how that actually works uh, where's the elevator is that the elevator no that's the entrance okay let's go and check out the rest of the vaults um, let's go to level 2. I think we have to go to level 3, but let's just check out this place. Okay, this is mostly storage. Can we check those boxes? Can we check all the boxes? Does anybody want to do that? Okay, those doors are locked. They don't seem to be lock pickable. Well, we can try. You can try. I don't know if you try to blow it up. Probably get in trouble. Still have some dynamite. I guess that won't work. Alright. Let's check the other doors. There we go. Is anybody here? Looks like a place. Oh, look at that. A big book of signs. Antidote, some money, a stim pack. That is actually nice. Some nice stuff. Uh, we could try to use the lock pick on the door. Um, if you wanted to. Are there any lockers in here that we can loot? No. No, no, no. Oh, there's a, um, a locker. Maybe there's something good inside. Um, this door is stuck. 
I would take a very strong person to open it. Okay. Sulik. But we can't really tell Sulik open the door, right? I wonder how that works. Okay, for now, let's just uh, go to level 3. And I'll try to lockpick the doors off camera. Oh, wow, those are a lot of... These are a lot of computers. And of course, I'm going for the loot first. Oh, damn it, it's locked. Can we... Okay. I'm gonna try to use um, the lockpick. Did I just... How does that work? Like this, probably. That does nothing. Maybe this uh, door is just not pickable? I don't know. Maybe we should just... Okay, I'm gonna try something now. I'm gonna save the game. And, um, and I'm gonna place dynamite in front of the door because it seems like there's a shit ton of loot and I don't really want to miss out on that Let's just blow it up there we go uh, use I'll set it at one minute and it's gonna be at the top come on faster all right let's go <clears throat> Very good. Cassidy, you should uh, get away from there. And let's just go on with our uh, main quest and see if we can get to one of the computers. A green screen display monitor showing various bits of data. But we can't use it. can use that one. Okay. Doesn't do anything. Okay. It clearly didn't work. So these doors must be uh, dynamite proof. Oh, is that a ghoul? Or is that just a very unmotivated person? <laughs> Let's see. Ah, oh, easy there. Nearly scared the life out of me. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. That's okay. It's just not... Not many people come into the vault. That's okay, it's just not many people come into the vault. Oh, that's the translation. Uh, what is it you do here? Um, just keep an eye on things in storage down here. Make sure all the doors stay locked. Do you have a key? Uh, doesn't matter because most of the doors are jammed shut anywhere. Uh, anyway, uh, what do you store down here? Spare parts, supplies, and ore. Ore? Ore from Reading, not so much anymore. Not much ore from Reading, why not? Mc I don't know, McClure is really worried about it. Can you tell me where the central computer is? It's just over there. It's the talking computer. Dude, we should kill this guy and take the key. Pocket lint. <laughs> uh, um... Man, I wish we had a key. So where is the talking computer? Oh, there it is. Let's talk to the computer. Let's talk to the talking computer. You have logged on to the Vault City Central computer. The interface seems relatively easy to, un easy, relatively easy to understand. Everything seems to be broken down into archives. Uh, search archives for location of Vault 13. The archives list only two vaults. Vault 8, this vault, and Vault 15, located far to the south. Oddly enough, there is no mention of Vault 13. You enter Vault 15's location into the Pip-Boy. Okay. Um, search for any references to the Garden of Eden creation kit. According to the archives, there is no gag currently in stock at Vault City's amenities office. The people of Vault City seem to have used the only one they had to help establish the place when they came to the service. surface. Scroll through the remaining information. From what you can make out in the archives, two gags were part of every Vault standard inventory package. 
Only one was shipped to Vault 8, however. Cross-reference the GAC shipment information. Due to a shipping error, it appears Vault 8 received a box of surplus, surplus water chips intended for another vault. The other vault most likely received Vault 8's second GAC. So basically, the vault we the vault dweller comes from has an extra GAC creation kit. Um, okay. Uh, call out the reports on Vault City's power generator. According to the output reports, it looks like Gordon was correct. Vault City's generator is already approaching its limit. Without a new power supply, Vault City will be unable to expand. Okay, that was interesting. As you are about to turn away, you suddenly notice a small picture of the Pip-Boy located beneath the terminal. Next to the picture is a slot that looks about the size of your Pip-Boy. Whoa! Insert your Pip-Boy into the empty slot. A small window in this window opens on the terminal screen with a smiling Pip-Boy next to it. As you watch, the Pip-Boy starts whistling silently and tapping his feet. A red light is flashing beside the computer slot. Okay. An un unhealthy grinding noise comes from the Pip-Boy slot. The Pip-Boy continues to whistle silently and tap his feet. The Pip-Boy suddenly stops and frowns. An exclamation mark appears above his head and he starts wagging his finger at you. Okay. Give the little bastard the finger right back. A small display beneath, beneath the Pip-Boy states that your last scheduled... Uh, maintenance was 50.352 years ago and the archives are corrupted you need to be reformatted do you wish to proceed should we reformat that what happens sure an initialization procedure beginning reformatting pip boy wait northern california geographical archive is being copied into the pip boys Database copying archive Broken Hills Gecko New California Republic New Reno Reading Vault City Donald complete. Oh, well, that's cool. Whatever. I don't know what happened now. Did we just get new map information? It's probably it. Does it look different? No. Auto maps. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well, city travel log. Oh, we got something. Oh, that's cool. Got information on the stuff. Um, I'm going to read that uh, maybe in the next part. Um, well, that's actually pretty interesting. So I really want to open these doors. But how would you do that? It's not like you can actually use this key card here. Maybe we can get it out of him. You have a great singing voice. You should uh, keep practicing. Oh, thanks. That's nice of you to say. Um, do you have a key? It doesn't matter. Most of the doors are jammed shut anyway. Damn it. I don't know if anybody knows how to open these doors. I really want that. That loot. What, Jimmy? Maybe Sully can open the doors. Hmm. We can't really make him do anything. Sully, can you consult the spirits for me? Spirits be willing to talk. What you want? What do they tell you about our chances? Don't want to talk, rat. What you be me? <laughs> okay. The spirits are silent. All right, all right. I think I'm gonna stay here. End the part and then um, see if we can find a method to open these doors right here. Or at least that one. So I see you guys in the next part. Um, goodbye.